Hi, I'm Tiffany Windsor. I have a mini shadow box project to share that was inspired by a velvet leaf that I found in a package of ephemera. What is ephemera, you ask? Well, I found a package in the scrapbooking department that had 40 pieces of paper, the velvet leaf ribbon, a feather, and that whole collection put together is ephemera. You can glue this onto cards, scrapbook pages, but my project today is this mini shadow box. For this project, I am using my Aline's Tacky Dots. These are the medium size, the Tacky Dot Roll, and it's a great way to apply paper to different surfaces. I don't know about you, but sometimes it just takes one thing to inspire a project for me. This velvet leaf came in this pack of paper clippings. And I love the color, love the idea. It brings back memories for me as a child. My mother sold these velvet leaves. So this is my inspiration. This is a shadow box that has different openings in it. And what I'm going to do is feature this leaf in the shadow box. What you will want to do is to gather all sorts of paper pieces, 3D flowers, perhaps a frame, any of the paper collections that you want to feature in your shadow box. This frame will fit beautifully in the top section. And what you want to do is start measuring and cutting your papers to fit into each of the sections. At this point, I'm not gluing anything in place. I first want to get all the placement for my pieces, make sure that I have all the pieces cut and placed how I want them. And what I do next is I actually take a picture of the layout because all of these pieces have to come back out. And then I will have a reference back to the exact placement. So now what I'm going to do is take everything back out so that I can start gluing. I have unrolled some of my tacky dots from my tacky dot roll and it's very easy to apply these. What I like about this technique is that if I ever want to change out some of these colors or designs or layers, the Aline's tacky dots are going to hold these in place until I want to change them out. I am going to finish gluing down all of my pieces with my Aline's Tacky Dots. If you have some smaller pieces of paper and your dot's too large, just fold it in half and press it right on to the back. I have just a few more finishing touches for my shadow box. I'm going to glue in my dimensional flower. And remember that velvet leaf that was the inspiration for this project? What I did is I framed it and added some wording. And then these Aline's Tacky Dots are so strong that I'm putting them on the back of the frame and pressing my frame in place on the paper that I have glued to the back of the shadow box. And one more hint again, when you have a tiny little surface to glue on and if your dot is too large, just fold it in half. And in this case, I'm gonna fold it in half again so I have a smaller little tacky dot right in the back and I can add that onto my frame. As you can see, this project is so easy and so quick and it's a great way to display those little collectibles and special sentiments. The Aline's Tacky Dot Roll is available at Michael's. It's terrifically tacky and creatively cool.